celebrate an ancient pagan ritual. Join us now for a spooky Halloween. This year we'll be uncovering UCSC students' plans and thoughts about the festive Halloween. So I'm here with another UC Santa Cruz student. Uh, what are your spooky plans for this upcoming Halloween? Um, this Halloween I plan to party with my friends and have a good time. Party hopping? Um, I don't know, I need to find some people who are throwing good parties and go to them. Probably not go downtown. So staying local? Oh yeah, staying local, for sure. Um, I think I'm going to a party at um, some other college, I forgot. <laughs> I don't have plans yet, nope. but uh, probably something fun. Um, probably going to get to the Bay Area. Um, spook fest. Um, maybe go to Davis afterwards or Santa Barbara. Um, and then spend actual Halloween here on Sunday. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping to find a couple parties. So keeping it local? Yeah. Am I supposed to hold it? Uh, we are going to stay here for Halloween and we're going to party at Santa Cruz, I think. And then we're spending one night in San Francisco before Halloween, but it's still going to be like a pre-Halloween party. Um, I have none yet. My spooky plan is I'm going to be uh, running a bus down to Santa Barbara. So I'll actually be leaving uh, Santa Cruz this Halloween. It'll be my first time in Santa Barbara. I'm pretty stoked on it. This Halloween, I'm going to stay on campus because it's human versus zombies. I'm one of the moderators there, so I have to participate. And on Sunday, on the actual day, I'll just probably know. Follow my friends. I got a midterm on Monday for a <clears throat> psychology class, so, um, you know, that whole weekend, be in the Page Smith Library right over here. Dude, we're going to get up, dude, is what we're going to do. We are going to Cal Poly, actually. For Friday, Saturday. And then we'll be back Sunday for the parade in here. Yeah, I heard there's a parade downtown. I'm going to go home to San Diego and hang out with my family and give out trick or treat candies. There seems to be a variety of plans, both in and out of Santa Cruz. But how about costume plans? I was thinking Wolverine, Wolverine. maybe. Well, um, I plan on dressing up as a Xena warrior princess with my boyfriend and just running around crazy. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to be a schoolgirl. And I'm going to be a cat. Okay. Yes. Very good. Yeah, I'm going to be Peter Pan. Um, no, actually, I don't, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm working on this, like, gesture thing, um, like the two-colored thing and, like, painting my body a lot, so that'll be kind of fun. Not really. I, you know, I have various costumes, mostly from, you know, video games that I usually play. Right I'm going to be a giant super fan. Giant super fan? Super fan, yeah. Um, there will be a tutu involved. But a friend and I were uh, talking about a possible costume, and we were considering making a very offensive costume in that we'd have two towers on our shoulders, and then like smoke cigarettes, so it'd be like smoking and you know like towers. That's good. That's Wear good. a t-shirt with a plane on it. Uh -huh. So, just as radically offensive as possible. Just you know, too soon. Um, <laughs> we're gonna be burlesque dancers. Me and some of my friends. I'll be Little Red Riding Hood. And I'm just gonna be a sailor. Costume ideas. I'm gonna go to a thrift store uh, later today and see what I can get for less than $10. Well, uh, I think I was planning on being uh, Lady Gaga. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna go through with it or not, but I got a sari when I was in India this summer, <laughs> so I'm just gonna wear that. And when people ask me questions, I'm going to ask them to restart their computer and then make sure everything's plugged in. And if that doesn't work, tell them to just turn it off and then turn it back on again. Good plans and great costumes indeed, all leading up to this historic event. But why do we partake in this creepy candy crazed holiday? While some students' opinions reflected the paganistic routes of this holiday, others just loved Why party. do you think that we celebrate Halloween? Um, to get candy and have fun. Um, I don't know. Um, All Hallows Eve, it's to celebrate the demons and shit coming up before they get banished on the next day. I'm not sure, but I'm not questioning it. <laughs> it's supposed to be something to the effect like, okay, so Saints Day is the day after, All Saints Day is the day after, and like, people talking about spirits being able to roam the day before All Saints Day, fun kind of stuff. Very pagan. 
I celebrate it because it's my birthday, but I mean, whatever. Well, I believe that was a, it was a pagan ritual in uh, Ireland. I don't know, dress up and have fun with another kind of character idea and have fun, party. Um, it's a harvest festival sort of a deal, so. Right. And then it turned into costumes somehow. Capitalism, um, to buy candy and have fun. Um, I don't know, the cultural roots have definitely been been lost a while ago. I think we celebrate Halloween, not only just to have like a good time, but also like to just go out there and spend time with your friends and I guess, yeah. So, what do you have to say about it? Yeah, I you agree? <laughs> I must agree. Regardless of the meaning of Halloween, it is fun to get together and enjoy people that you care about. It is good to see the variety of plans within the UCSC student body, and it looks like this Halloween is shaping up to be one of epic proportions. It may not be as spooky as I had originally anticipated, but with partying and mad costumes, how can you go wrong? For Banana Slug News, I'm Pierce Crosby, wishing you all the spookiest of Halloweens.